With our solution, we can fill normal inkjet cartridge and print it on plastic or paper supports. The printed patterns are electrically conductive. This is our laboratory technique, but it can also be printed industrially using a rotogravure. It is also possible to cover non-planar surfaces. In spray coating, different conductivity values can be obtained, modifying the amount of graphene deposited on the substrate. Conductive films have been produced by the position of few nanometers of graphene on different plastic supports. Nowadays, the scale-up of this process is carried out and 3,000 square meters of conductive film were produced. This is probably the longest film of graphene ever made. Hi, I'm Lucia. I work for Graphene XT. It's a startup burn in Bologna, Italy. Let me show you what we do. The great discovery which made it possible for Graphene XT to grow was the capability of producing stable graphene in water solution using environmental friendly techniques and non-toxic substances. From this, many products and ideas for new applications came into mind. These surfaces treatments give to the material electrical and thermal conductive properties as well as lubricant properties. Despite the fact that it is a small and young startup, we are already producing industrial products. For higher loading of more complex structures, deep coating techniques can be used. Our graphene shows good adhesion on materials of any kind, plastics, glasses, metals, ceramics and so on. Graphenix T is made by Simone, Simone, Christian, Erika and me.